Hello everyone, here is the Pelodas and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I show you how to fix clipping animation of a cloth simulation by using the time stretching to create a slow motion effect. Here in that case I do it especially for a character where you have a permanent object with a cloth simulation. So let's get started. Here is a character. This is, uh, yeah, just the character from a scene of my upcoming animation, Nets in Glory. I have here the problem, uh, yeah, uh, countered the first time. And now how to fix it. If I press play, you see here the cloth simulation is clipping. So because it has already a slow motion effect in it. If you watch, uh, yeah, okay. 9 FPS. It's not good, but uh, yeah, I reset the settings of the slow motion at first. So I make a screenshot of this that are now where are my start and end frame is. So on my second screen. So I just screenshot and uh, open it in paint. And yeah, I reset the settings for this. So I go in here to the time stretching section and it's default by 100 so I make it back to 100 and I know my frame where it starts and ends is in the section between 1600 and 1700 so I going to this part of the timeline watching okay where is the cloth simulation starts so you for you you are uh, set the frame where you want to start and end the export of this uh, uh, of the cloth simulation we are we are transform the cloth simulation into a sequence of keyframes so i want to start here on this frame and want to end here on this frame and now when I export the cape the data the cloth data of the cape so I just become the frames in from this to this no more I not become the wall simulated cloth simulation just those frames by yeah the frames I set to start and end so now you can go to preferences searching for new by the add-ons and you can activate the new tech MDD format so that you can import and export MDD data. In this case we are export the light wave point cage here MDD. I give your file a name and click export. Now we are exporting the data of the cape we are not exporting a mesh so you should not delete the cape that have the cloth simulation or try to use the file on a other object because it's properly really buggy so we are still need the object the, the cape and now we are going to the first frame on this first frame we are apply the rigify uh, 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 modifier the subdivision modifier before the cloth modifier and now I clear the parent and keep the transformation and apply all transforms but uh, one thing before you export it I think it should better if have the cape all um, transforms applied so I have no scale it or something like this before the scape. So I don't know what will happen if you don't have uh, um, uh, not apply it location, rotation or scale. I don't know what would happen. So I just say it. And now I import the MDD file by while the cape is selected. So we are now import the information of the cloth simulation onto the cape 
as a sequence of shape keys. And when I now press play, you see we have the simulation back, but we are applied. Oh no, we're not applied. But you can now delete it. You, you, you are not able to apply it. You can delete the cloth simulation and we still have the simulation. And now, now we can go back to our slow motion effect. So we are going to time stretching new to 900 and back to frame. 30,859 and 30,985. So, and when I now press play, you see the clipping is gone because it has transitioned from, a, from keyframe to keyframe. And now we are cleared the clipping glitch by yeah, this slow motion effect. So, I hope that helps you. And yeah, that's it. We are seeing us in another video. Cheerio!